Hi all, I am Shubham from GCS team. In this session, we will learn about local clusters in CDI Advanced. Agenda, we will see a brief overview of local clusters. We will see what should be the configurations required on your secure agent. Configurations means like the resource configurations uh, as a prerequisites to use local clusters. Then we'll see the staging and logging locations, how important all uh, staging and logging locations we can use for local clusters. Then we'll see the no password workaround. So this is uh, basically for that user, which is starting the secure agent and it's not having the pseudo no password privileges. And then will be followed by a demo. The end. So a local cluster is a simple single node cluster that you can start on the secure agent machine. You can use a local cluster to quickly onboard projects for advanced use cases. A local cluster can only run mappings in advanced mode. So a uh, local cluster is basically the uh, one of the advanced cluster which can be used in uh, CDI advanced. So we know that there are four types of clusters which can be used. So first is AWS managed clusters, then we have self service clusters, then we have serverless and the the one is local cluster. So this is a Kubernetes cluster, which when you will execute your advanced mapping, a Kubernetes cluster will be deployed on your secure agent machine only. So these are the resource configurations which are needed as part of prerequisites when you are running and you, and you are using a local cluster. So uh, currently, like local cluster is supported on Linux only. This is a basic prerequisite of advanced mapping that uh, we can, uh, we should be having the secure agent on Linux only. The second prerequisite is like, you should be having the Elastic Server service uh, running on your secure agent. Um, like you need to con set up the Elastic Server service and from the runtime should be uh, running. And uh, yeah, currently uh, we don't uh, support uh, agent groups. So what that means is like, when you are creating a runtime environment, then it should be having only one secure agent uh, present inside it. Uh, if you are having more than one secure agent, then it is currently not supported. Um, so these are minimum hardware uh, requirements. Like uh, if you are executing advanced mappings, then you your secure agent should be having 8 CPUs and 32 GB memory. If you are having other existing jobs, such as uh, DB mass ingestion jobs, then it should be 16 v CPUs and 64 GB of memory. Also, uh, please make sure that you are having 100 GB of disk space available if you are executing uh, mapping in advanced mode uh, using local clusters. Um, so we have more prerequisites like whenever you are executing mapping with local clusters. So add the following domains to the outbound allow list for your local cluster and ensure that they are reachable from the secure agent machine and these are the below domains in for cloud jfrog io in for cloud ctctd uh, i e docker jfrog io in for cloud di scale docker stable jfrog io uh, so these are needed because we will be pulling the images from jfrog repositories uh, then the next prerequisite will be you can you need to disable the os firewall uh, you can execute the below command and you can check the status. So the firewall should not be uh, run, uh, run, it should be disabled. Okay, so let's say that you are uh, having like your, your secure agent services are started by a user, which is uh, not having pseudo uh, no password privileges. So in that case, you need to perform the below steps. So you need to copy the PMS UID from this path, secure agent home, app site scale server latest version bin Linux 64 to this path in your secure agent machine, secure agent home apps at scale server ext. Then you need to change the owner and group by using this command sudo ch own root root pms uid uh, and set the set gid bit of the file. Then uh, you need to uh, mention this property in the advanced cluster configuration runtime ccs local cluster deployment mode is equals to suid and uh, once you have performed these steps then you can perform a cleanup of your uh, of your runtime and 
it's like what you need to do is you can clear the uh, in your go to your advanced cluster configuration you can clear the runtime environment attached to it then save it and then you can again uh, uh, again choose the same runtime environment and save it so this was this will basically stop the running cluster and uh, um, and so, so that in the uh, cleanup can be performed so that the existing cluster will be clean okay so uh, this is regarding the cluster staging and logging location so um if you are using default clusters, default local clusters, so what that means is like you have not created a local cluster configuration. Uh, you are just uh, starting uh, advanced mapping. Then if you are just starting an advanced mapping and you are not uh, having any uh, cluster, advanced cluster configuration. So basically what I mean to say is like your secure agent, your runtime environment, which you have, which you are using to start your to run your advanced mapping and that is not uh, tagged to any of the advanced con uh, cluster configuration then at the runtime by default it will create a local cluster configuration and uh, the default staging and logging location for the default local cluster is agent installation directory apps advanced mode staging directory and inside the and the logging directory will be inside your uh, secure agent installation directory apps and advanced mode logging directory so the staging the staging location is uh, used for the uh, like this it will be having the staging files which are needed when we are executing the advanced mapping and the log directory is having the agent and driver logs so this is basically for the logs this uh, and let's say if and these locations the default staging and logging locations will be by default in the uh, your Will be using utilizing the storage of your secure agent machine only so let's say if you are uh, uh if you are not if you don't want to uh use your uh local paths like your secure agent local uh storage to be utilized for staging and logging directory and let's say you are using uh, the cloud-based storages like uh, aws s3 or azure uh, adls gen2 then you need to specify uh, below uh, like in the in the bullet format you need to specify the staging and logging directory so like here on the screen as you can see for aws is the, it is s3 colon slash slash bucket name and the folder path so uh, please note that the staging and logging location needs to be in different directory so let's say if you are using s3 uh, for uh, s3 is a storage for staging and logging directory then please create a uh, in two directories two folders in your s3 where the for let's say for staging it will be s3 colon slash slash your bucket name slash staging uh, so that your staging files uh, can be uh, stored inside that location and for logging you can uh, do s3 colon slash slash but your bucket name slash logging so that that path will be having uh, your log uh, logging files your log files basically um the same goes for uh, azure base storages and gcp Okay, so uh, next uh, next we can see like uh, how to configure uh, permission. So let's say you are having a cloud based, uh, you are using cloud based VMs for your secure agent machine, and you are executing the mappings using local clusters in advanced execution. So here in this, like we need to have do certain uh, configurations for uh, permissions. But uh, it is it will be based on what resources our secure agent can access. So uh, there are different sets of permissions, and let's say here I, I would be showing uh, if you are using an Amazon EC2 instance and what permissions you need to do and how you need to configure that. So for if you are using an Amazon EC2 instance for the secure agent machine, then you need to create an IAM named as agent role, and you can attach it to your uh, Amazon EC2 instance, which is your uh, secure agent, and uh, designate an existing IAM. Or you, if you are having already an uh, IAM tool created for that, then you can use the same for your secure agent tool. Um, now, create another role, uh, which is named as cluster operator role. And uh, you, uh, you can specify, uh, you can create a policy and tag that uh, policy let's say it is a cluster operator policy tag that uh, and assign that policy to this cluster operator role 
and you can you can put these permissions which i am showing here uh, as part of cluster operator policy next you can configure the trust relationship for the cluster operator role to include the secure agent role because secure agent needs to assume the cluster operator role the cluster operator role needs to trust the secure agent so you need you can edit the trust relationship of the iam role cluster operator role which we have created in the previous step and specify the following so this this policy you can specify and if you see here i am specifying the trust relationship that of agent role So for more information, regard, let, let's say if you are having uh, a Microsoft Azure based VM for secure agent or uh, Google Cloud Beam, then you can uh, refer our documentation the links where I have provided here. So let's see a quick demo. So I have logged into my ISCS console and this is a uh, simple S3 to S3 mapping which I have created. The mapping is using uh, S3 V2 uh, connections for both sources and targets and I have changed it in advance. Now I'll just run this mapping. I have selected my uh, runtime environment. So uh, this runtime environment is currently not associated with any of the advanced cluster configurations. So we should be seeing a default cluster configuration, which is of local cluster type uh, getting created when we just uh, run this mapping. So I'm clicking on run. Now let's check our administrator page. I am in advanced clusters. I'll just start refreshing this. Let's check the status of mapping. So it is in starting phase. So now our mapping is running. Now we should be seeing a default local cluster configuration created here. And as we see, we are seeing a default local cluster configuration created, which is using, which is having my runtime environment tag. And as I have mentioned, this will be the parameterized uh, staging and logging location. And this location will be on your uh, secure agent machine. Currently, this mapping is running. Let's check up our monitoring page. So here you see our uh, default cl local cluster is now up and running. And in my mapping, InfaSpark has started. And you see, this is our default local cluster, which we are using. That's all from the demo side. We'd love to hear from you. You can send us a mail at support videos at informatica.com or tweet at infasupport. Thank you.